How's it going, everybody? I um, want to record a video of the last stage of uh, Legendary on Riddles of Wonderland with uh, four star characters only. So, uh, I'm a little sick right now, so hopefully you can excuse all the sick noises. Um, done rare and epic. Uh, not really trying to place very high for those. I feel like it uses too much world energy and too many items. So, I'm mostly going for the tier completion, which here would give me 100 emblems, which is big, three flasks, which will be used for Atlantis, and some basic materials, which is great. Um, so, I haven't tried the last stage yet. I think I've gotten through here with maybe one retry or something like that. Uh, the last event, which was Pirates, was the first time I've actually been able to finish Legendary, and since then I've gotten uh, Proteus fully leveled and even with some emblems. Um, at the end of this stage we have Hatter, Rabbit, and Atlas. So I'm gonna go mostly red and purple and then I throw Wukong in there just for some help. But Proteus is the real key here I think. Um, and then the attack up of Bull Tusk, defense down of Wilbur, and the attack boost of Wukong. And then just having two healers I think is gonna be necessary for me without any five stars that are ready. Um, let's see, I think I'm gonna, s I'm gonna swap these troops here. Um, Alright, let's go for it. So I'm just gonna use basic items if I really can't. I, I use time stops on pirates but with uh, Proteus here, hopefully that won't be necessary and um, we'll just be able to get through this. So without further ado, let's get started here. So my main strategy to start is just trying to get a heal up as quick as possible. Um, I just kind of rushed through the first few stages. These guys actually hit pretty hard. 300. Um, I rushed through the beginning pretty quickly. I feel like I get more green tiles than anything as well. Um, Alright, that's good. I rushed through these pretty quickly. Um, the second stage, the second wave, I should say. Gonna use some health there. <coughs> um, the second wave, I take some time to shape the board for the final round so that I can go into that with my best foot forward. In this, I just try to breeze through again. I'm not trying to get a placement here in terms of the final ranking. Just trying to get the tier completion, and I thought this, you know, might be helpful for other people to see as well. So I figured I'd make a video. Still sort of new to the video making thing, but I've made a few here and there. I did one for Pirates, if you want to check that out. Um, or I did it without even having maxed four stars. I um, can't remember exactly. I think I did it with Kirill, Bold Tusk. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you want to check that out, it's up on my page. So, this might be a little slow, um, especially once I get to the bosses. But I feel like if I was trying to place this, is actually a pretty decent board to start. Okay. Three health, perfect. Let's just go for the certainty. And then I try to get a strong on-color diamond. So for the last one, between Alice and the rabbit, you have two s snipers, I think, with an attack down. And then the hatter is a buff stealer, which is going to be a problem for me because I'm relying a lot on attack buff. So that would quickly turn the tides against me. Um, so I want to have some sort of strong on color diamond, maybe a red diamond or a purple diamond, um, and then have all my specials ready so I can lock down their mana, um, and then throw everything I got at them once I do attack up. So I'm going to use this yellow diamond in hopes that I'll get something a little bit better. Yellow diamond wouldn't be that strong. Um, let's use it again. Okay, just 
and make sure to keep watching my health down there because sometimes they gang up on one person and before you know it you're in bad shape <laughs> Terrible luck with the polls this time. Um, done better in past events, but I don't know. Even watching videos of other people's, it seems like this is just distinctly worse. You know, which there's not really any explanation for, but it's still an observation that I made. Okay, cool. We got a red diamond. A little bit early, unfortunately, because it's still going to take some work to knock these guys down. So. Maybe we will use Proteus just to start ticking away at their health a little bit. Uh, and with this team, I really have no hitters. <laughs> so it's a little slow, but this isn't too bad so far. I don't want to make a mistake. So yeah, if I make this match with the purple beneath it, it's going to, I think, set off the red diamond. So, oh man, I'm running out of moves here that are letting me not hit the red diamond. And I might still do it anyways. Sometimes I'll make a move that seems like nothing's going to happen and then I get rid of the diamond that I was trying to save. <laughs> And sometimes it forces me to rush into the final wave when I'm not prepared. So, okay. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Um, still got a lot of work to chip away at these guys. They have a decent amount of health. 2300. Pretty much double your average five star. And they hit even more too. Um, okay. I like these events though. I think it's a fun way to earn some more items. And this is where I have realized I get the majority of my flasks for Atlantis as well. Okay, so I can't make that yellow match or I'm going to set them off. Hmm, I think I have to use. Proteus here, which means I need to rush to get some more purple matches to try to hold on to that red diamond. Um, okay, we're gonna do this. Ooh, okay, it just wore off, so I really need to get one more purple three match. Or deal any damage. Would have liked to save that heal as well, but oof. Okay, wow, that's both of them. <laughs> awesome. So how do I finish this guy off? You know what? Let's do it the easy way. So I think I'm gonna. I can't use the purple diamond without setting off the red diamond because they've got this tile there. Um, but I want to make sure that when I launch, you know, there's not a lot on screen right now in terms of damage dealing, so I think I want to try to clear some of this up before I go for my big hit, which means charging them up, which is not ideal. Okay, I think I, whoa, she's already ready, wow. Uh... I think we're gonna, I think we just gotta go for it, so let's go, let's see, attack, make sure I get the order right here, attack up, I don't think defense down affects Proteus's strength, because he hits uh, behind all that kind of stuff, but you know, what the hell, we'll do it first, so we're still gonna take a hit from Alice here in a second, and watch, this is not going to do that much damage, so we still got a bit of a fight ahead of us, but at least this purple diamond will charge up Proteus again, we're full health, otherwise I would use Regard first, um, since we're going to use a purple diamond, but let's go for it. <clears throat> wow, 
So we did 1400 damage, a lot less, or a lot more, excuse me, left. Okay, we didn't quite charge it pretty, so the only problem with with doing it this way is now everyone's got this four turns chance to miss thing, which means when I do get Proteus up again, he usually will not hit all three, and that's when things start to take a turn. So, I think they've got one more turn of can't gain mana. So, let's just go for the yellow diamond, I guess. That's a pretty weak one now. But maybe it'll stir up some bigger cascades. Nope. Okay, this is where we just have to hope for some good luck. And we're going to hit Proteus again, because we really do not want to get hit by any of these. Amazing. Wow, I'm actually shocked that we got all four of them. So the purples are a bit weaker. Wow, 132, that's it. Purples are a bit weaker because um, we've got, we had the attack down on regard. Um, so we've got two turns, so we want to do as much damage as possible. I think we need to heal, and it would be good to get, ugh, we need a red match, but we also need some purples. These four will not be enough. But these next ones will be, so let's... Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea, because now I have the chance to miss on Proteus, and we had good luck last time. It stands to reason that we will not again. Okay, so let's see who we can get. Okay, those are probably the best ones to get since they're on the outside. Let's get our reds up again. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I was not paying close enough attention. We lost regard. We're still at almost 4,000. Oh, no. Okay, this is where it starts to go bad. Um, let's see. No real good cascades that I can see. I think we only have one, two turns left. So we really need some purple matches again. Um, Ooh, but we are far off. I think we only have three turns left of our increased defense. Maybe we can get a cascade. Tiny cascade. Okay, so now we are charging them up. I really don't want to hit Hatter, but... Ooh. Okay, alright. So one, oh god, he's really close. So this is a situation where as close as the Hatter is to filling, even if I don't hit him, he's gonna go next turn. Um, so I think I'm gonna use a few mono potions. So let's lock them all down. Let's get Wukong up since we have a few purples right underneath Rabbit there. Okay. Wow, not very strong still. Um, just trying to see if I can make a diamond anywhere. Uh, maybe this will give us something new. Okay, we have only one, yikes, one turn left and no mana. Oh, Hatter is going to go, so we don't want to get any buffs up before then. Um, that might seem like a bad move, but I need to get some of these purples up. Uh, what's the best way to do that? So we are going to do a little healing here, or a lot of healing. But 
feel like those are pretty minor items to use considering this is the legendary final stage with only four star characters. Um, okay. Red is going to be weak to Alice. I think we're just going to go. So I can make a match here. Okay, Hatter's going no matter what. He's gonna. So I wonder if he st when he steals his buff, does he inherit the also single turn remaining portion of it as well? Okay, this is not looking great, you guys. We want to take out one of the side guys first, like Rabbit here, who is also very close to firing, and I'm getting dangerously low on health. So let's give a chance to miss here, and let's make it hurt less. You know, I could just finish him off at least with items only but I don't know I feel like that's not as fun to do so we're gonna go for these four purples here okay so maybe it was better just to hit him with the axes wow okay that just took a turn oh god <laughs> Okay, so we are definitely just gonna simplify what we're looking at here. Nuke them a little bit. Might have wanted to save some of those, but 1500, man. Okay, <clears throat> she's about to hit. Oh, I really don't want to charge her up. But we only have reds and yellows left. <clears throat> This is not looking good. I think I need to get a heal. And should I make it count with Wukong? Oh, this is bad. I think I'm gonna go for the safety net here. <coughs> down is undispellable. <clears throat> one's attack down, one's defense down. Okay, so this is the best time to make our biggest hit. I could try to pop these purples in hopes that a red diamond will fall in behind it. Let's do that. Nope. Okay, so she's going to hit no matter what, but she's got an attack debuff, so <clears throat> let's try to get another heal up. Oh man, this could be bad. And it is. Oh, so close. So. I'm going to save the arrows just because I think I really might need them. Unfortunately. So I have one turn left of things that Hatter could steal from me. No good looks at a heal unless I hit him, but I think that's going to be a mistake. Oh man, this is not looking good. Oh, uh, let's just gonna try to find the single best move here. Ah, I think I lost this one. Shoot. So, I do have an attack buff. Those reds are probably going to deal a maximum of 200 each, and then the following hit is going to hurt a lot. So, since I'm close to dying anyways, let's nudge him down as far as we can. And let's see. Hmm. It's only going to be Wukong left once they're running. So there's no way I can deal 1200 damage. I'm trying to see if I can make a purple diamond somewhere over here as well. But 
I think it's gonna drop it just one too far. And then I do, and that is not what I meant to do. Oh boy. Okay, so can we kill him? No. Don't wanna hit her to charge of Wukong. <clears throat> Man, this is bad. And now, oh, and he gave him. I know he stole my defense up for one more turn. Shoot. She can only hit one of them, so I gotta try to plan for one big final hit. Miss. Alright, so let's go for something bigger. Oh, man. I really don't want to spend the gems. Though it's a guaranteed win, so... Is the items I used worth 75 gems? Sorry for this lengthy strategy session here. Uh, I'm just trying to decide if what I've consumed is the value of 75 gems. I mean, we're gonna get lots of emblems. There is time for me to do it again, but I'd... Hmm. Finish this off. Okay, well, that makes it pretty easy. So, this will probably be a miss, but I don't really need to be careful at this point. We got about four health remaining. Okay, well. Not the way I would have liked to have done it. Um, no continue penalty. So that's bad. Um, used time stops last time, but I also had weaker heroes. It's too bad you can't get four turns out of Proteus, but I guess that would be pretty overpowered for player versus player situations. Um, so, that's it. Let's look at our rewards here. Three flasks, compass, orb, shield. The emblems, that's a huge amount of emblems, some coins, and a revive scroll. So we are at 41,000th place. Wow, you gotta get under 10,000, which I don't think is gonna happen for me, especially with almost three full days left. So just for fun, let's throw some coins at this and see if we can get anything nice would really like this guy. I think it's a pretty unique special. He hits hard and he's got incredible stats. <laughs> Alright. We'll probably get another Valen or Friar Tuck though. Hmm. Got three of him now. I think I'm going to level one up just for the Christmas event. Um, so, not bad. Four star event here off coins is better than expected, but just not someone I particularly wanted. Alright, thanks for watching.